everybody, welcome back to another episode of Beaconer Baking with me. This is a part two to the cinnamon swirl bread. <clears throat> now, we have our dough right here. I'm going to take this off the counter so I have some room to roll it. Okay, so now that we have that off the counter, I need to go get my rolling pins and a mat. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've gotten out my mat and my rolling pin, you need to always make sure, though, that you put flour on it so it doesn't stick. Okay, now it's time to take it out. Here we go. Look at that. There we go. And now, spread this around. And we're going to roll it. And turn it this way. And separate it out into two pieces. We're going to be making two cinnamon swirl breads. And I'm going to roll these. And we'll be back. So now that you've rolled it out, you're going to get butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And the cinnamon is up here. <sighs> Can't find it. Okay, so um, I'll be right back. But you will need butter, brown sugar, and Cinnamon. <laughs> I couldn't remember the name. Anyway, you're getting butter, brown sugar, and cinnamon. I'm going to go get those two ingredients. Okay, so you got your butter and your brown sugar and cinnamon. You're going to want to put the brown sugar and cinnamon into this bowl here. And then you're going to mix it up good to where it's just a powder. clumps in there, just use the back of the spoon to crush them. And the butter, you're going to take and spread it all around this. Make sure you get it all around.
that's about good like that. Just a little bit more. There we go. And we can finish mixing this up. Like this. And if there are just some tiny clumps in there, that's fine. And now, we just gently wiggle the spoon so the brown sugar and cinnamon fall off. Next, we're going to take this red pan. We're going to spread it down with some cooking oil. And there we go. So that way it doesn't stick. And make sure you get it all around. And then next, we're going to roll it up. Like this. And gently place it in there. Next, we're going to take a tea towel, fold it up, and put it right over the top. Like this. And we're going to let that sit for about 20 minutes or a half an hour, and it will rise. I'm going to go set this by the fireplace. Okay, and this is what it should look like when it rises. Maybe a little bit taller, like to the top. But now I'm going to bake it. And you want to bake it for about half hour or so. Well, just when it looks done. Now I'm going to go bake it. Now when yours is done baking, I hope you enjoy it. Bye. See you next time.